Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcox Media. Today we're going to talk about computer controlled transmissions, in particular the General Motors 1640. Transmissions have been controlled by computers for decades now. What distinguishes the 6T40 is that the computer control is actually inside the transmission. Previously, transmissions would be controlled by uh, a singular CPU or computer, uh, such as the ECM, BCM, PCM, uh, whatever term you want to use. The TCM, the transmission control module, which is external on most vehicles, um, once they add it on the inside of the transmission, they use a different term. They call it a TECM, T-E-H-C-M. That's Transmission Electrohydraulic Control Module. Um, the TECM, or the TCM, is attached uh, to the solenoid body, which bolts directly to the valve body. Uh, what I have here is basically the uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 design TECM. This is the CPU, the actual computer, on both models, and you can see that the Gen 1 cover is wider than the Gen 2. And if I take uh, these covers off, and of course, they have more screws than what I have in them currently. It can expose. One of the problem areas that General Motors has had uh, for a long time now, which are the pressure switches. Uh, these pressure switches are sensitive. They are um, constructed out of a laminate, uh, which can deteriorate over the years. This uh, solenoid body, as you can see, has seven solenoids. And when the, Gen, when the Gen 2 was released, the solenoids were changed. Uh, they are not interchangeable, so you have to make sure of which design that you have. Related to the pressure switches, they can be repaired. If you get a vehicle in and the TCM itself is bad or the solenoids are bad, most likely you're going to have to go to the dealer and get a relatively expensive uh, TECM assembly, which could be $450 to $500. If only the pressure switches are bad, the solenoids can be addressed to um, replace those pressure switches, and you have to be careful lifting the TECM unit off of the solenoid body because these stab locks are what go into the individual solenoids. On the 6T40, the solenoids actually have retainers that you could pull individual solenoids out to clean them, possibly test them. This is where the pressure switches are, and these a laminated disc or what deteriorate. <clears throat> and when these deteriorate, you don't get the proper pressure signal to the uh, TCM and you end up with particular trouble codes. The Gen 2 uh, General Motors decided to no longer use pressure switches. So again, if you take the Gen 2 apart, you notice that the pressure switches are gone. So it's uh, something that we no longer have to deal with as far as the failure goes. You can still have problems with the TCM, you can still have problems with the solenoids, but at least on the Gen 2 or Gen 3, you don't have to, uh, have to replace the pressure switches any longer. Um, for a while, if the pressure switches were bad, you had to buy a new Tecum. 
Uh, fortunately, a company, Sonix, has come out with a repair kit. So in closing, uh, if you get a vehicle in with a trouble code relating to pressure switches, keep in mind on generation one that they can be easily repaired. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.